Despite the pandemic, believe it or not, sales of luxury cars in China actually bounced back during the second quarter of the year. In fact, German car maker Porsche had the highest growth. Our reporter Li Jianhua again caught up with the company's CEO right here in China. So let's first talk about the coronavirus pandemic. How has the epidemic affected your business? Um, we could see a very steep um, decrease in uh, order intake and in uh, how the car market was doing uh, in the beginning of the year and especially in the first quarter. But for starting with the second quarter and especially third quarter and now looking forward into the fourth quarter of the year, uh, we could see a good recovery. So Porsche is actually quite strong in making luxury cars and the artists come back starting the second quarter. Does it mean that actually the coronavirus pandemic doesn't affect your business as much as other industries? I think people love um, to spend um, money on um, luxury goods because that is in line with the general tendency in upgrading uh, consumption. We are enjoying a very good market development and every year has been another record year compared to the year before. So um, it is a very um, well uh, and de developing and dynamic market. Yesterday actually I went to the uh, exhibition and saw the Formula E from Porsche and then can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so and on the CIE we um, are featuring uh, electric drive, and, uh, soul electrified as we call it. And we really want to show that also in the electric age, uh, racing with an electric car uh, is benefiting um, the production of electric cars because whatever we are developing as a street car has been uh, first tried out and developed for racing and then uh, transported into the serial car production. Who are your customers actually? Well our customers are in average 35 years old. Uh, we enjoy an equal split in gender, so 50% male, 50% female customers, which is totally different to the rest of the world. In Germany, uh, our customers are 53 years old, uh, such as in North America. How come the average age of your customer base in China is actually much younger than that in Europe or in the United States? That's a very good question and it's not easy to really answer. I think um, in, uh, in Europe and in the United States, Porsche becomes fulfilling your life dream, uh, life dream uh, at, at an older stage um, of your life. Um, in, in China, the younger people possess uh, enough funds to fulfill their life dream uh, in an earlier stage of life. And do you think it's normal and sustainable? Um, we will see due to the further development of the Chinese economy um, uh, that this should be a tendency um, that could continue. We actually saw that also in the last year our customers even become uh, one year younger in average. So um, I would believe that for the next five to ten years we will see continuing this, uh, this kind of uh, tendency that we have this kind of young customers and we have to ad adopt to this.